Meet Dr Galit. She's the veterinarian at Lone Pine Koala Sanctuary in Australia and she's preparing the table for a very special visitor today. The sanctuary's resident peregrine falcon, Maverick, has arrived with his keeper. He's one of the stars at the Free Flight Raptor Show, but he's been out of action for the past few weeks. Maverick has a bacterial infection in both of his feet. We resolved the problem originally, um, but he's had a bit of a relapse. The infection has caused some swelling and discomfort for Maverick, so it's time to take a closer look. Once Maverick has successfully fallen off to sleep, it will be safe for Dr Galit and Nurse Natalie to commence their procedure. First up, Mav gets wrapped in bubble wrap. Yes, that's right, bubble wrap serves a purpose in a wildlife hospital. So the bubble wrap looks pretty funny, um, but it's actually really commonly used in, um, in anaesthetics with birds because um, it really helps to keep them warm. Birds lose heat really quickly and that makes the anaesthetic quite dangerous. So he's got a, a heat mat underneath him and then the bubble wrap keeps him warm. Now it's time to remove those old bandages and assess the condition of his feet. His feet are looking better and there are signs of improvement. But just to be safe, Dr Galit has decided Maverick needs another round of bandages. He's as good as new. Once he's fully awake, we hold him for a little while until he's completely normal. And then the keeper will come in and we'll pop him onto her glove and then he goes back to his enclosure. Maverick is expected to make a full recovery and rejoin his team in the Free Flight Raptor Show soon. Just down the hall, Cheryl, the wildlife carer, has brought in three little visitors to be weighed and fed. They are orphaned juvenile ringtail possums and Cheryl is acting as their surrogate mother until they are big enough and strong enough to fend for themselves in the wild. I'm just about to weigh them. I'm really excited to see how well they're doing and I'm hoping that they put on lots of weight because we're aiming to get to 300 grams. Once they reach 300 grams, they can progress to what is called a soft release, where they will learn to care for themselves before they're released back into the wild. The little ones aren't quite heavy enough just yet, so they will remain in Cheryl's care for the next few weeks. Their visit to the hospital isn't quite over yet because it's lunchtime and these three little ones are always keen for a feed. Cheryl has heated up some special nutrient-rich formula for each of the possums. And I have to say, watching a baby possum eat is one of the cutest things I have ever seen. 